Okay, so in this diagram we have four, uh, four situations A, B, C, D, and with the, the object is moving around in circular motion around this center here, uh, and we have to find an expression for the centripetal force. Okay, so situation A, there's only one force, and that's T, and it's acting along towards center. So it's very easy. So it's T is a resultant force because N is the only force, and you make that equal to mv squared over r, which is the expression for the centripetal force, where r is this uh, um, radius of the of the circle. In situation B, we have two forces. Okay, so the resultant force, the overall force, has to be towards center, and you can see that's probably what's going to happen because w here is bigger than n. So if you subtract from uh, w minus n, you'll get a resultant force, which is approximately going to be this size here, and it's act toward the center. So our expression will be w minus n equals mv squared of r. So this, so the the formula for all of this is always get the resultant force and make it equal to mv squared of r. Let's try number C, uh, question C now. So in C, they're both in the same direction. X and Y are both in the same direction. So the force is going to add up and that's going to equal the resultant force, which is going to be toward the center there. Okay, so if they add up, we just simply add x plus y will equal, which is the result force, will equal mv squared of r. Okay, now d is more complicated. We need to find the resultant force toward the center. So we need to find it along this axis here. Okay, so to find that axis, we need to find the component of this force here. So w we need to find the component that's along this direction here. So if I copy this angle, this angle is theta right there. And because the angle, the, the force that we're breaking down is W, and it's, we're interested in the component that's adjacent to it, it will have to use cosine. Okay, so the, I hope you can see that we're interested in the the length that's right next to the angle, so it's going to be cosine. So the expression will be T minus W cosine theta equals mv squared of r. So again, so to, to the reminder, uh, reminder from this is, uh, in any circular motion, we'll have the equation is F equals mv squared of r, and you simply need to find the um, the resultant force and make it put it here instead of F.